Hi students, so welcome to the session. I am Dr. K. Varadaraz Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of CSC AML, so MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In our previous classes, we complete single link list. In this class, we are going to learn about double link list. So, overview of presentation. So, first we are going to see definition of double link list. Then we discuss some advantages of double link list. So, finally, we are going to see how to create double link list node. So, outcome of this lecture, at the end of this lecture, you all are understand how to create double link list node in C programming. So, definition. So, before seeing the so definition of double link list, we are going to discuss some disadvantages we are facing in single link list. In single link list, node contains two parts. One is, is to store data. Second part, we use it to store next node address. Here we store the next node address. Now, what is the disadvantage in single link list? Let us assume this is the single link list. So, let us take five nodes. So, these are connected like this. So, let us assume these are the data parts 12, 15, 18, 21, 7. So, how we identify end of the list in single link list? So, last node next part will be null. Okay. Now, these are the addresses 101, 201, 105, 205 and 300. So, these are the addresses 201, 105, 205, 300 and head is head equals to 101. Okay. So, now if we traverse in single link list, we start from head. Now, I traverse from here. I access the element 12, then I move to 201. Now, the data is 15. Now, the data is 18. Now, the data is 21. Now, if I want to traverse in reverse order, that is not possible. So, now, the disadvantage of single link list is, if you want to traverse in reverse order, that is not possible in single link list, because that node contains only next node address. There is no previous node address in single link list. So, to overcome this problem, we need double link list. What is a double link list? A double link list is a data structure that consists of a collection of nodes. Here also collection of nodes where each node contains data and two pointers. In single link list, only data and one pointer. One pointer that indicates next node address. But in double link list, the data part and we need two pointers, two pointers. So, one pointing the previous node and one pointing to the next node. That means, so this is the single link list node. Now, in double link list, this is the node, three parts, one indicating for data, one part indicating previous node address and one part indicating next node address. Okay. So, this is the node structure in double link list. So, each node consists of three fields. One is data. This field stores the actual data or value associated with the node. So, previous pointer indicates the previous node in the list. Next pointer indicates to the next node in the list. So, let us take, so this is the node here in double link list. Okay. So, this is the first node. Now, three parts, insert the data in data part and we are going to store next node address. Let us assume 201 is the next node. So, this is the next node. This is the 201. Okay. Now, the first node previous part will be null here, null. Okay. So, now this is another node 105, this is another node 205, so this is another node 300, okay. Every node have three parts, so this is the data 15, 18, 21, 
21 7 so last node next part will be null here in double linked list first node previous part is null and last node next part will be null here and here we are going to store 101 here 101 here 105 here 201 205 here 105 and 300 here previous 205 now we can traverse in both the direction forward direction and backward direction okay so that is the advantage of double linked list so advantages and disadvantages coming to advantages efficient traversal in both the direction we can traverse in double linked list either in forward or backward direction so flexibility to insert or delete nodes at the beginning end or any position and useful for implementing various data structures like stacks and queues we can implement the stack and queue data structures with the help of double linked list also and coming to disadvantages higher memory uses compared to single linked list due to the additional previous pointer it use more memory when comparing to single linked list why here we are maintaining one extra part to represent the previous node address to store the previous node address so more complex code for managing pointers when comparing to single linked list when we try to insert the data when comparing to single linked list the code will be more complex now we see how to create double linked list node in c programming here the node contains three parts so this is the structure okay in single linked list it contains only two parts in double linked list it have three parts first part represent data another part to represent previous node address another for next node address okay so now this is the function for create node the create node function purpose is it creates one new node one new node now the node have three parts and every node have some address and insert the data in data part and make both previous and next pointer as a null okay whenever you create any node in double linked list so node will be created the data inserted in data part and the previous and next part will be null and after successful creation of the node the node address is written to call function okay here i call create node let us assume triple 5 is data okay so create node this function will be called what is the data 35 is data and struct node new node struct node ml of size of struct node now uh, one node is created in created in memory and if node is not created if there is no memory to create a node then this ml lock function can return null if node is not created otherwise it returns some address okay so now one new node is created so go to here insert the data so what is the data here triple 5 and make previous equals to null and next equals to null it have some address let us assume 3001 that will be written to the called function this is the called function now this function will return 3001 and assign to new node okay so this is how we are going to create new node in double linked list so coming to summary of today's session we learn about the definition of double linked list a double linked list is a linear data structure similar to single linked list with the key difference being that each node in a double linked list contains two pointer instead of one in double linked list in single linked list we have only two parts node have two parts one is for data another is for next but in double linked list we have three parts one is to represent the data another is represent to next node address and third part represents previous node address okay here each node consists of three fields data previous pointer and next pointer and here we are going to maintain so two variables head and tail head and tail in single linked list we maintain only head in this case the head is 
हेड इक्वल्स टू वन जीरो वन टेल इक्वल्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड टेल इक्वल्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड ओके हेड इंडिकेट्स द फर्स्ट नोड एड्रेस एंड टेल इंडिकेट्स द लास्ट नोड एड्रेस इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंसर्ट ए न्यू नोड इन डबल लिंक लिस्ट थैंक यू